Assalamualaikum and hello guys Before we start There's something that I want to tell you The part that we want to learn today Is quite complicated Compared to the previous part for this subtopic So, try your best to understand the lesson today Good luck Finally, we have reached to the last part Which is part 4 on how to solve simultaneous linear equation with three unknown. Let's take it out. Solve simultaneous linear equation with three unknown. The strategy is for three unknown, there's given three equation. Don't forget to label each equations, let's say equation 1, 2 and 3. Then, reduce the 3 equation to 2 equation with 2 unknown by using elimination method. By substitution, solve for the values of the 3 unknowns. Now, Let's check the example to solve simultaneous linear equation with three unknown. Example 3. Solve this simultaneous equation. Before we start, we need to label this equation. Let 7x plus 5 y minus 3z equal to 16 as our equation 1. 3x minus 5y plus 2z equal to negative 8 as our equation 2. And 5x plus 3y minus 7z equal to 0 as our equation 3. Step 1. We need to reduce these 3 equations to only 2 equation with 2 unknown by using elimination method. So how to reduce these 3 equations? Firstly, we need to consider, let's say, equation 1 and equation 2. Pick only one variable from this three variable here, either x, y, or z, to be reduced by using elimination method. As we can see here, the coefficient of variable y is both 5 in equation 1 and equation 2. So, we will choose variable y to be reduced. To see it more clearer, let's write equation 1 and equation 2. So, we have 7x plus 5y minus 3z equal to 16 and 3x minus 5y plus 2z equal to negative 8. So, to reduce verbal y, since we have 5 and 5, in both equation 1 and equation 2, we need to 5y and negative 5y. So, we need to add equation 1 and equation 2. So, equation 1 plus equation 2. So, 7x plus 3x, we will get 10 
x. 5y plus negative 5y. So, negative and positive minus. So, 5y minus 5y. Done. Negative 3z plus positive 2z. So, negative 3z plus 2z minus z equal to 16 plus negative 8. Positive negative minus 16 minus 8, 8. So, now we have 10x minus z equal to 8. Label this as our equation 4. Next, to get another equation with only two unknown, we can consider equation 2 and 3. Let's write the equation first. So, equation 2, we have 3x minus 5y plus 2z equal to negative 8 and equation 3 5x plus 3y minus 7z equal to 0 as our equation 3 since just now we reduce variable y so this time we also need to reduce variable y for equation 2 the coefficient of y is 5 and for equation 3 the coefficient of y is 3 when we want to use elimination method we need to make sure the coefficient of variable y in both equation 2 and 3 should be the same since we have 5 and 3 so 5 times 3 so the suitable uh, value that we can use is 5 ten times 3 equal to 15 so that's why equation 2 5 we have 5 so we need to multiply by 3 and for equation 3 we have coefficient y is 3 so that's why we need to multiply by 5 so now we have 3 times 3x 9x minus 3 times 5y 15y plus 2z times 3 6z equal to negative 8 times 3 negative 24 and equation 3 5x times 5 25x plus 3y times 5, 15y, 7z times 5, minus 35z, equal to 5 times 0, 0. To reduce variable y, since we have 15 and 15, so okay, so negative 15y plus 15y. So to reduce variable y, we need to negative 15y and positive 15y. That means we need to plus. Okay. So now we have 9x plus 25x 
34x negative 15y plus positive y then 6z plus negative 35z so negative 29z equal to negative 24 plus 0 negative 24 So this is actually our new equation 34x minus 29z equal to negative 24 Label this as our equation 5 After we done with step 1 We already have Equation 4 and equation 5 after we reduce the three equation just now to only two equation with two unknown. So we have 10x minus z equal to 8 as our equation 4 and 34x minus 29z equal to negative 24 as our equation 5 so step 2 we must use equation 4 to get the n expression in the form of z so uh, from equation 4, 10x minus z equal to 8, make z as a subject, so we will get z equal to 10x minus 8. Label this as equation 6. Then, step 3. Substitute Z into equation 5 and solve for X. So our equation 5 is 34X minus 29 Z equal to negative 24 after we substitute with z so we will have 34x minus 29 times 10x minus 8 equal to negative 24 now we only have equation with only variable x so that's why we can solve for the value of x so simplify this equation so 34x minus 290x plus 29 times 8 negative negative so positive 232 equal to negative 24 simplify so negative 256x because 34x minus 290x we will get negative 256x equal to negative 24 minus negative 232 so we will have negative 256 make x as a subject so x equal to 1 so now we have, we already have the value of x, which is 1. Now, we can proceed to step 4, which is solve for value of y and z. But how to solve for y and z? 
don't worry you need to substitute the value of x that we got just now into equation 6 and equation 1 okay why equation 6 and 1 it's okay i will write for you so uh, equation 6 we have z equal to 10x minus 8 okay so uh, in the previous uh, slide okay uh, we already have the value of x which is 1 that's why when we substitute the value of x which is 1 into equation 6 okay we will get the value of z so z equal to 10 times 1 minus 8 so z equal to 10 times 1 10 minus 8 so z equal to 2 okay next we need to find the value of y so y equation 1 is okay write it uh, so that we can see so equation 1 we have 7x plus 5y minus 3z equal to 16 so x we have already the value which is 1 z 2 so we need to find the value of y only for this question 1 ok substitute 7 x x uh, so x equal to 1 plus 5 y minus 3 z z 2 so z 2 equal to 16 7 times 1 7 plus 5 y minus 3 times 2 6 equal to 16 make y as a subject so 5y equal to 16 minus 7 plus 6 so 16 plus 7 minus 6 15 so y equal to 15 divided by 5 3 okay and step 5 don't forget to write the final answer step 5 write final answer so we have x equal to 2 y equal to 3 and z equal to 2 oops i think i make a mistake here okay so x is not 2 x is 1 okay so you need to really be careful when you transfer your answer okay don't make the same mistake as me okay okay now we have finished subtopic 2.1 linear equation don't forget to try the question in the tutorial in the next video we will cover about subtopic 2.2 quadratic equation stay tuned bye